The first thing I want to share with you is this. The vocation, our vocation, is not like a mushroom, which from night to morning it comes up, no. Our vocation has been planned by somebody, somebody above us, before even we were born. I should say, since we have been conceived in the womb of our mothers. Because looking at the vocation of Saint Daniel Comboni, the Francis Xavier, Xavier of Africa, I am sure that God, since he is uh, birthday he had a plan great plan about this man because this man he was a great man a great man a great missionary you know the evangelization of Africa has been uh, performed by other institutes but they were uh, they did not have a plan. They did not have a plan. And the evangelization was done most on the coast of Africa. Instead, Kumbuni, Kumbuni wanted to reach the Central Africa, the zone, the area of the Great Lakes. That was his plan. Daniel Comboni was born at Limone, Sulgada on March 15, 1831 into a family of cultivators employed by one of the rich local proprietors. Daniel Comboni was born in Limone. Limone. Limone on the beautiful soar of uh, the Lake Garda. It's called, it was called, the area was called Limone because due to the good climate, the people, they were growing lemons. Limone means lemon. Baptized the following day, March 16, 1831, as Antonio Daniel, he was the fourth born of eight children, but the only surviving child of Luigi and Domenica. And his father was a poor, was poor. And he was a, uh, say, working for a rich man who have this big, uh, this big uh, cultivation of uh, lemons. But unfortunately, he, all his brothers and sisters, they died when they were still very young. But since that, mo that, uh, in the, that childhood, Kumbuni has something in his uh, vocation, in his mind. Eh? All his other siblings died in their infancy, leaving him in a form of a very close unit with his parents. Rich in faith and human values, but poor in material things. I don't know if it is historically truth, but sometimes he was uh, called in Africa, Africa, a child, Africa. So, as I said, the family was very poor, so he had to, he could not, they could not afford uh, his education. So, Comboni went to Verona, where there was a priest called Nicola Mazza, Don, Father Nicola Mazza, who was a hosting and keeping a lot of children, poor children, very clever. So Comboni stayed there particularly for all his educations, scholastic education there, there in uh, Verona. 
Eight years later, in 1839, Daniel received the sacrament of confirmation from the Bishop of Trent, Blessed Giovanni Nepomuceno Tidera. This priest, a holy priest, Saint, uh, Don uh, Nicola Mazza, had some priests. It was a kind of a society of priests. And uh, some of them were sent to Africa. When Comboni was still young, a teenager. And uh, one of these priests was uh, Don Angelo Vinco, Father Angelo Vinco, who came from Africa and uh, he was uh, talking to this uh, young student no, about Africa. In that moment, in that moment, Comboni started to have a, a very strong interest on Africa. While at Verona, Daniel completed his studies of philosophy and theology and became entranced by the mission of Central Africa drawn by the descriptions of the missionaries who returned from there to Father Mazar's institute. God is using instrument, instrument in some persons eh, who approaching us, they are inspiring us. And uh, Daniel Comboni, Daniel Comboni was inspired by, uh, uh, by God, of course, through Don Angelo Vinco and some other missionaries of Don Nicola Mazza. After successfully completing his studies for priesthood in the year of the proclamation of the Immaculate Conception on December 31st, 1854, Daniel Comboni was ordained priest by Blessed Bishop John Tidera at Trent. In 1855, Daniel offered himself with such dedication to the care of the cholera victims at Buta Pietra in Verona that he and a public commendation. Daniel Comboni, being the only son who survived, he was really suffering and shock because if he was supposed to come to Africa, who was going to take care of his relatives, of his father and mother? A certain moment he went to for a retreat. And one father, one father, very good father, whose name I don't remember, uh, after the retreat, he told the Comboni, Daniel Comboni, your vocation for Africa for me is very clear. There is no doubt that God is calling you to go to Africa. And when he left to come to Africa, his mother said to him, you go with my blessing. God will provide us. Father Daniel Comboni and five other missionaries of the Maza Institute left for Africa on August 9, 1857, a journey of four months with a long halt in Egypt where he took the advantage to make a pilgrimage to the Holy Land, to the place of Jesus' life and death. And uh, Comboni was... Uh, was I say it was uh, shocked by the situation of Africa, of, of people of Africa. Because for them there was no hope. No hope. But unfortunately, some of his uh, companions, they died. They died because uh, they were not uh, accustomed to the climate, to the disease, especially malaria. But even the food, the food uh, was not. Uh, anyway, Comboni uh, 
maybe as a point of departure from his plan for the regeneration of Africa was nothing else other than uh, making Christ known in Africa. In a continent that uh, many people of his time, in fact society, in the society of his time but also the church, referred to as the dark continent. In fact we would say it was a dark continent because we never had the light of Christ, of the gospel. So he comes and he brings the light of, of Christ which is a light that brings regeneration and freedom, liberation. And we can only imagine the situation in which Kamboni uh, was when he came to Africa. Africa characterized by slavery, he comes to, to liberate. And uh, not he himself in a way liberating, but the message of the gospel, Christ himself present in Africa as a, a, the, a liberator, the one who brings a new life and begins a new phase for Africa. By June 17, 1859, given his state of health, Daniel Comboni was ordered to return to Italy, but being far from getting discouraged, Daniel felt an interior confirmation of his decision to carry on in the mission, remarking, Africa or death. Comboni.